Hey guys, my name is Ginger Brarface and welcome to a tutorial. This tutorial is for those of us who are Linux users, as I'm sure some people know. I'm not sure how many times I've mentioned this actually. I, uh, but I am a strong supporter of the Linux master race. So I will be doing videos like this to instruct you how to get games and such working on Linux all nicely and fancy and things. So we have regular Linux Steam here. This is the standard Debian build. I'm using Ubuntu at the moment. I'm using Unity Desktop as I think it's what most people who use Steam will be using and what most people will be familiar with. But if you're using Ubuntu or Debian or any other variation on Debian like that, then this, this should still work. Um, I'll go into a bit of detail about what you're about what you need to do afterwards if you are having difficulty getting it on your um, on your distribution, some of the stuff that's needed. So this is the, what the Linux version looks like. This is probably what most of you are used to. Uh, there's a fair few games on it. I have, how many do I have? I have 73 games available on Linux, but my total games are 265, as you can see. So there are quite a lot of games that haven't been ported to Linux yet. And there's also the issue of installing mods and stuff. A lot of these games don't support mods. And that is, of course, what this video is on. Because this video is for modding source games. So, what you are going to be wanting, if you go to your Ubuntu Software Center, if you have that, if not, then I'll try and remember to put an annotation for the bit of video to skip to if you don't have that or whatever. Uh, but you need to search play on Linux Linux and you will find something that looks a bit like this and this is what you will be wanting to install this is what we're going to be running steam from essentially what this is is this is a little um most people who use this will be familiar with wine this is uh, makes this is a little interface to make managing wine a bit easier because it's a bit it can be a bit awkward to do games that it doesn't kind of natively support well it does natively support them well it doesn't natively i don't know what i'm talking about but anyway if you are if there's anything that's not just on the list of things to install for wine then this is probably the way to do it so you uh go install here and you uh and you get your your steam um sorry you search for steam and you'll see steam that right there press install i've already got it so i don't need it from there you want to go to configure and this will be on i think that by default if you um i've got it on system because i want it on my system version of wine but you can go add um depending on your architecture um, if you're using an Intel processor, then you're probably going to be using x86, unless um, it's like, um, unless it's a more recent one. So any anything that's kind of anything that's Intel that's of age, go x86. Any kind of modern Intel, anything from kind of your i5 to i7s and any AMD processor, you'll be wanting AMD 64, unless you've installed the 32-bit version of Ubuntu, in which case you are a moron and shouldn't be watching this video. So, I've got 1.7.10 here, because this was recommended to me for Counter-Strike. So if you are a Counter-Strike fan, then this one is the one that apparently it runs best on. But there are more recent ones, as you can see, and they have specific games next to them that they're optimized for, and so on. So I've gone for the Counter-Strike one, and that is my system one. So once you have all that set up, close down your configuration and run Steam. This is going to take a sec. Once you have gotten Steam started, you will now see that we do not have the option for Linux, um, Steam OS plus Linux, as we would have done before. We have all the games 
all the games that aren't natively supported, and they run. Well, most of them run. Um, next card game definitely works. Tomb Raider. I was playing that. Uh, I was playing that earlier. So these all work fine. Armor Free. I haven't got working yet. That'll be in a future video once I've worked it out. But Counter Strike, as I said, works. And the mod I'm going to be doing is for Half Life Two, as it is the game that has the most mods for it. So. Uh, make sure you have this installed, um, and any other games like the mod I'm using requires Half-Life 2, uh, Half-Life 2 Lost Coast. Um, if I scroll up to Shooter, it also requires Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. And if I go on to Tools, it also requires Source SDK Base 2006. So make sure you've got all that installed. Now, uh, Leave that to download. If you've downloaded it already, or when you finish downloading it, press exit. So we are back here. From there, go configure once again, and go to miscellaneous up the top, and open programs directory. Okay, once you've got your programs directory open, it'll look a bit like this. So you want to go into Steam apps, and providing it's been updated for Steam to open, Okay. Find it's been updated for Steam Tunnel. You will just simply bung it in your source mods folder. So I'm using S mod, uh, which is quite a popular mod, an update for it that makes it work on Steam Pipe. Having having this open does it will just like kill your hard drive speed if you've got an older hard drive. I'm running this on a older hard drive, so that's why this is like tripping out right now. And I'm recording to it as well, which probably isn't making it any faster. Uh, so I dragged that into there, that's why this is empty, but um, extract your zip or whatever, or 7-zip thing, you may need an extra archive opening program for 7-zip, I have arc, which is pretty standard I think for, for a bunch of users. So yeah, just drop your game into your uh, source mods folder, and then from there you can close this, close that, and play on Linux may freeze on you. Ah, there we go. Right. We're all good. We're all good. Now you can just hit run once again. Now, of course, I said at the start of the video that if you are a Ubuntu or Debian user, you may not have the Ubuntu Software Center. However, you can simply start up your respective software center. So if it is the Ubuntu Software, start your Ubuntu Software Center and just search for Ubuntu Software Center, and it will come up as the Ubuntu Software Center has when I've typed in the Ubuntu. If, however, you can't do that, there is also a terminal command to download the Software Center, which I will put on the screen now. Unless I've forgotten, in which case spam me in the comments saying, you forgot to put the thingy there, the terminal command, and I'll put it in. So that should conclude it for this video. You should now have your source mod working. Now, just in case you didn't read the description, this is on, it is only necessary to use Play on Linux or Wine if, if you need the SDKs for the mod, which you probably will. So this might be, I you needed Source SDK 2006. If your mod doesn't need that, then this whole video is completely irrelevant. I did write that in the description. Assuming I didn't forget. So it's your own fault for not reading it. Thank you for watching. Please like if this helped you. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.